welcome back to the class or orals today we are going to discuss what are the reasons for the cascade tank overflowing during the maneuvering and during the normal sailing of the ship this video is containing the explanation and animation please watch this video till end and do subscribe to the channel thank you First of all, we are taking the reasons of cascade tank overflowing during maneuvering. The question is which heater we are using during the maneuvering? Yes, it is a preheater. Do we open the steam full or the crack open? It is open crack. But suppose if the tube has ruptured in the preheater, then which pressure is higher? Is it the steam pressure or jacket cooling water pressure? Yes, it is the jacket cooling water higher pressure. That means the jacket cooling water will mix into the steam line and then the condensate line it will reach to the cascade tank or what we call hot well. The jacket cooling water will go to the steam line and it will go to the cascade tank and the cascade tank will start overflowing because of the surplus quantity of jacket cooling water being entered. The expansion tank capacity is approximately 1 meter cube and its low level alarm is at 0.3 meter cube. So if we are losing 0.73 meter cube of water then you will get the expansion tank low level alarm. Correct? The boiler cascade tank the hot well is usually capped at 80% full and it means the 0.3 to 0.4 meter cube of water of the jacket cooling water is quite enough to make the cascade tank to overflow. This is why the cascade tank will overflow during the maneuvering. Here you can see a basic schematic diagram. Please refer the actual line diagram of your ship. On your right you can see the expansion tank with low level alarm at 0.3 meter cube. Here you can see the main engine heating. This is the preheater. Here you can see the casket tank provided with the dump condenser. This is the deaerator tank. From expansion tank, the water is going to the deaerator, and from the deaerator, the water is going back to the expansion tank. From deaerator, a line of the jacket cooling water is going to the inlet of the preheater which is going to the main engine heating. But suppose there is a leakage or the tube burst in the preheater. That means as we have earlier discussed the jacket cooling water will make its entry to the steam side and it will mix with the condensate. Then the condensate will go to the dump condenser and from the dump condenser the jacket cooling water will enter into the hot well. The hot well is already 80% autofill and capped full and the low level alarm of the expansion tank is at 0.3 meter cube. That means we are having 0.7 meter cube of the jacket cooling water making entry into the 80% filled hot well which means the hot well will automatically overflow. This is how the leakage in the preheater will make the jacket cooling water to go to the hot well and make it overflow. Now we are discussing the reasons behind cascade tank overflowing during normal sailing. The first reason is the autofill getting stuck. Second, dumb control setting is changed. Third, the boiler feed water pump losing suction. The three way wall jammed in the shut condition. And lastly, if the controller sensitivity response is poor, then we will get the overflow on one hand and other possibilities high level alarm of the boiler. Now one must be thinking that the reason of overflowing cascade tank is due to more steam demand, the condensation will be more and it will result in the overflowing. But this is incorrect. If the steam demand is more, that means the production has increased. 
if production has increased then automatic water valve to the boiler inlet will open more and it will feed more water to the boiler the, it means the casket tank will never overflow so due to more steam demand there will never be overflowing of the casket tank i wish by this video we have understood the reasons of casket tank overflowing during maneuvering and during normal sealing. Please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.